Welcome to our Cube Tour series, everyone. Today is an exciting day. I'm going to show you how much we can do in Fort Lauderdale for under $55. Our journey leads from Fort Lauderdale, cruising along the intercostal to the magnificent Hollywood. During this water taxi experience, we will be stopping at the Hilton Marina and Convention Center. We will be stopping at the Hollywood Beach Boardwalk, having lunch at the famous Mamacita's Latin Bar and Grill, checking out the Margarita Restaurant, and concluding our stop at the Five O'Clock Somewhere Bar and Grill. Plus, we will be giving you tips as to where to find coupons and discounts when visiting Fort Lauderdale. Every week we provide new and exciting travel ideas and tips of places all over the world. Please subscribe and like to be a part of our journey. Hello fellow travelers! Day two! Day two, day two, day two! We're taking the water shuttle all the way down to Hollywood today. We're not staying home. We're taking our life back. We're having fun. We're loving life. We're embracing life. We're doing something new every day. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Today's mode of transportation will be the water taxi experience. The water taxi of Fort Lauderdale has been an icon in South Florida for more than 30 years. Offering year-round service, private charters, venue options, and special event transportation. Water taxi has the largest passenger fleet in South Florida. Cruising daily from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Adult all-day pass cost $40, or you can get a 30-day multi-day pass for $140. The water taxi makes 10 stops from the Bucampers Sports Bar and Grill to Riverside Hotel and Stranahan House, which takes approximately one and a half hours. Water Taxi also provides special service along the Intercostal Hollywood Express Route to Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort, the Broadwalk, and the beach. Another great service is the Water Track, which is absolutely free, which serves along the Riverwalk area in Los Olas. In today's journey, we travel from stop number 9 at Shooters, where we presently at, to stop number four, Hilton Marriott Hotel, where we will connect with the Hollywood Express Route, which will take us to Hollywood Broadwalk Beach area. Total travel time, approximately one hour. Really, really exciting day time. This is amazing, they have a bar, check it out. And then they have a restroom. Double decker, check this out, we're going upstairs. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale's intercoastal waterway provides easy access to maritime activities and onshore attractions along the 300 miles of inland canals winds through South Florida. The scenic inland waterways wind through the city, highlighting what makes Fort Lauderdale unique and why it truly lives up to its designation as the Venice of America. Original and updated homes on Canal Front lots range from 250,000 to over 1 million. While new construction can cost over $5 million, Fort Lauderdale is home to the world's largest boat show. It's no surprise that a Fort Lauderdale cruise is a popular activity for all visitors. If you get off at stop number four, and then after stop number four, you take the water taxi that comes every other hour, and it'll take us down to Hollywood. But for now, we're gonna go and walk around the marina and see what that's like. Come on with me. 
The Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina offers resort-style getaway in the heart of Fort Lauderdale and Costco. This lobby features coffee, cocktails, and convenient grab-and-go items. We're touring, we're doing this. They have a pool bar that serves your favorite Florida-inspired cocktails and entries. One of the cool things about this hotel is that many of the guest rooms have balcony with beautiful water view of yachts and the intercostal. We need to embrace ourselves, we need to love ourselves, and we need to explore the options that we have in our backyard. You never know. Always, always appreciate life. Always love yourself. Never, never take life for granted. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as we continue to explore what we have first in our backyard. Then, after we finish with Fort Lauderdale, we're going to start flying out. Then we're going to start doing some cruises. So we're going to enjoy retirement, enjoy our process, and enjoy life. Stick with me. Let's go. Beautiful hotel. We now go back to the marina. So this is all the information you will need. Another 30 minutes to wait for the boat going down to Hollywood. So I'm going to take a rest until you guys here. From stop number four, we now go to the Hollywood Broadwalk area, where we will see Margaritaville and the Hollywood Broadwalk and Beach. You will see a clear difference in the residents located along the intercostal as we go down to Hollywood when compared to the Fort Lauderdale area. Partly due to the number of beautiful protected parks in the area, we will be passing the Dr. Von D. Missal Eula Johnson State Park, located in Dania Beach. The park is named for the late civil rights activists who first pressured Broward County to have at least one beat for African Americans. We will also be passing the Annie Cobb Nature Center. At this nature reserve, you have activities where people walk, paddle trails through the mangroves, an aquarium, and an observation tower. We will also be passing the Port Everglades. Port Everglades is one of South Florida's foremost economic engines as it is the gateway for both international trades and cruise vacations. We're pulling in, we're pulling in now to Hollywood. And we're gonna go down to Hollywood Broadwalk, tour there and have some fun down there as well. We're heading back up to Fort Lauderdale. So we go. Yay, hey, we're doing it. It's at five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I believe this is my first time in Hollywood Beach. I have lived in Florida almost 20 years. <laughs> and this is my first time down in Hollywood Beach. So I'm discovering stuff too. Ah, congratulations to all of us. Hollywood Broadwalk. The Broadwalk and the beach stretch for a long and wide section on the Atlantic Ocean front. The pedestrian promenade is 2.2 miles in length, combined with dramatic coastal views of Hollywood Beach. The newly constructed path for walkways, bicycling, and jogging path is 
absolutely clean and amazing. You have outdoor cafes from the organic farmer's market and juice bars to gourmet meals and ice cream cones. Over 50 restaurants, 30 shops, and three parks. It's been good. It's been good. So now we're trying to have fun without the alcohol. I don't know if my shoes are for the waves. I did change them. But we are going to live. We're going to take our shoes and we're going to live. <laughs> we're going to go anyway. To go. Say hi to the waves. Okay, yeah. The Hollywood Beach, right adjacent to it, with its blue turquoise water and clean sand, just begging to be enjoyed. I couldn't decide on where to eat, but Mamacita's Latin Bar and Grill came very highly recommended. When I saw the red snapper, that was it. Deal, sealed, done. I love seafood. I'm going to share an interesting information on a YouTube video that I watched this week. One advisor said, people should not wait until you hit 65 to retire. Because when he did the health and mortality of Americans, most Americans, by the time you hit 67, you start having all kind of chronic, you know, acute illnesses. So he recommends that you retire as soon as you can. And I agree with that. Today, I only spent $18. Yeah, I can do this. And we're off. Very nice restaurant. I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Food was original and very, very good. every day. It's just one thing good, one thing good for yourself, one thing good in the environment. Makes you feel good, and in feeling good makes you healthy. Let's go walk for about an hour before the boat comes. And we did overeat. I did overeat. So <laughs> let's go. Margaritaville Hollywood Hotel and Restaurant. Let's go check out Margaritaville. Florida number one chill ambassador, Jimmy Buffett, added to his growing business empire in the late 2015 with the opening of Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. 
The new 369 Wu Hotel is a full service oceanfront resort and entertainment complex. Amenities include, but not limited to, the Flow Rider, Saint Summer Spa, Pool Paradise. You can get couples and family photos taken. You can do kayak and paddle boarding. And they also have a fitness center with classes. Hollywood Beach. Such great food. Such wonderful energy. Now we have to take the boat and head back up to Fort Lauderdale. Ah. Five O'Clock Summer Bar and Grill. Five O'Clock Summer Bar and Grill is part of Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. At Five O'Clock Summer Bar and Grill, time goes slower, food and drinks taste better, and even the laughs are louder. They offer live entertainment Wednesday through Sunday. So come on down and enjoy the fun. So we wait at the boat and it's five o'clock somewhere. Heading home. And we're off. Well, our day has come to an end. Total cost today, $15 for the food with a $5 tip. This is our monthly pass on the cruise book. We paid $140 for the month. Say we did good today. And we had a lot of fun. See you next time as we continue to love and pamper ourselves. fabulous tips for you. With a water taxi receipt, you can get discount on numerous restaurants throughout Fort Lauderdale. Just show your water taxi receipt. Coupons can be found on their website and I have put the link in the description below. Until we meet again, thank you so much for being a part of my journey.